bass resonator here. I have been asked numerous times how I get eyes in my frogs to look so realistic and also in my turtles, but I don't have a turtle handy right now, but I thought instead of me just saying I UV eyes, UV resin eyes into place, I thought I would show you how I do that. So I have this pack. These are all three millimeters. Um, I have a bunch of them from three millimeters all the way to six millimeters in size. So they come in different sizes. But these are the amphibian and reptilian. Depending on if it's a reptile, reptiles, that iris goes up and down. Amphibians is horizontal. So I've seen some people make I mean, it's an artistic choice if they want to do it that way, but I like to try and get them as close to um, nature as possible. So I will do them the, the way that I think is right. And um, But in this pack, I also have eyes that are for fish, which is kind of cool. In fact, these are fishing lure eyes. And uh, I got, I don't know, 15 or so sheets of these things. But I'm going to be using green in this little mold. I got this from Resin Rockers. This is just about an inch and a half long, uh, two inches wide. It's the same tree frog that most people are used to, except this is actually about the size of a real tree frog. The other tree frog is, is like three and a half, four inches. Um, and if I saw a tree frog that big, I think I would probably run the other way. Um, so... <laughs> um, what I'm going to show you is how I line these up. Now, this particular set of eyes that I have are a massive pain because they're stuck on this um, wax paper card stock. And so to get them off is, is not that hard, but to get them to stay in place without them sticking on me or something else is very difficult. So I just slide it off the little card with my fingernail. And now you see it's stuck on my finger. And now what do I do? Well, I get my handy toothpick. <laughs> Even then, those stick really well. Oh, that's what I did not want to have happen. Okay, now you are seeing what is life is like with no fingernails. Okay, so there I get it turned over. I will deal with which way the iris is facing after a bit. Um, no reason to worry about that right now. Ah, oh, wouldn't you know it. Let me set those out of the way. Uh, oh, good. I got it. See, what I can do is I can figure out what direction it's facing on this, on this toothpick so that when I place it inside the mold, which is down in there, uh, that it'll stay in place. So what I use, oh, why am I using green eyes? Because <laughs> I'm going to make this a glow-in-the-dark green frog. But more than just green, he's going to be having fuchsia feet. Yeah, that's going to be fun. I'm thinking about possibly giving him some other... Some little spots on the back with a, with a blue or a yellow, but I'll, I'll figure that. All I'm going to show you is the eyes. Oh, and I think I just bumped my camera. There we go. Get that lined back up. Okay, so I'm getting my handy dandy UV resin, the kind that's made for bonding, which I find easier. I always have an easier time with that one. Finding where this eye spot is, you have to. And try not to put too much in there, because if you put too much, then you have this funny-looking halo around the eye. So I got, um, I don't know if you can see that in there very well or not, but there's a, a little dab of, um, of that UV resin in the place. Now, with frogs, I've seen many people put these frogs' eyes in. Frog's eyes look out the side, not straight up. And I've seen a lot of people 
just put the eyes in that spot and not realizing what they're doing. And, and it looks like the eye, the um, frog is looking straight up in the air at you, which I have, frogs are incapable of doing that. So I'm getting this with the eye, the, the iris, the iris, and I'm lining it up so that it'll be in place. It's really hard to do this around the edge of this camera. Okay, it's sitting in there now. And I'm going to check real quick to see. Yep, it's pretty close to being the way I need it to be. And then some people have used um, a UV lamp, but I find it easier to use... Some people call them a torch. I call it a flashlight, a UV flashlight. And so I am going to hold this into place. My dog just came in from a walk and he came in to greet me. So that was awfully nice of him. There, putting that. So what I do here is I... Hopefully you can see what I'm seeing. There you go. I'm shining it in there to hold it in place from the inside. But then I have to go, because this is a UV resin, it's not gonna look, it's not gonna do well. It'll probably come off if I don't do it from the other side. So you have to make sure that if you are doing UV through um, molds, that the molds are clear or translucent so that that can go through on the other side. So right there, I'm shooting it in from the other side. And I give it about 25 or 30 seconds. And then I'm going to do the other one. But before I do, get that so it's not staring at me in the eye. And that eye is perfectly in line. I don't know if you can... Well, you'll see it when it's all done. But now, to get this other side... Get a little drop of UV resin in there. That's more than a little drop. <laughs> and now to get it to go back down into the eye socket. And then pick this up. This is really sticky stuff. Oh boy, that's not good. That eye direction was... And I still got it wrong. I want that iris to go the correct way. Okay, there we go. We go in here. I don't think that's quite lined up. No, that's a reptile eye now. Okay, so now I get the fun part of Trying to turn this without it sticking to the toothpick. Yay, I think I got it. Yep, okay, now repeat the step. And I let that cure in place. Oh, I don't think you can see it. Let me, I'll, I'll pull those things over real quick. <laughs> the glow-in-the-dark powder, <laughs> the uh, UV flashlight was shining on them. <laughs> they, they were really pretty. Okay, so those eyes are now in plate. Let me show you what I was talking about. Yeah, really pretty. <laughs> now, can you see go over here? That eye is the iris is facing the correct direction. And on the other one, it is also facing the same correct direction. So this is an amphibian now. 
now to mix up some resin and then to work on getting it all mixed up and uh, when it's all done I will show you the end product should be a lot of fun till then base resonator signing out okay what I did on this little guy is I mixed up some of those um, uh, that fuchsia and I also added a purple glow-in-the-dark and so I have little dots and his toes are purple and the feet are fuchsia and then he's got little spots around and the rest of him is gonna be this nice green but everything is glow-in-the-dark except for his eyes so we'll see how it turns out mm -hmm.